Hi guys, welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about Windows 11 24H2 again. And in this video, we're going to talk about a new update for Windows 11 24H2 that is also released on the main release of Windows 11 24H2. For those of you who don't know, Microsoft released their Copilot Plus PCs. So on those PCs, Windows 11 24H2 comes pre-installed and those people are receiving this update. And also, if you are enrolled in the release preview channel of the Windows Insider program, you're also getting this new update for Windows 11 24H2. I guess Microsoft is still working on figuring out how to categorize their change logs because I didn't see any announcement from them regarding this new build and that's why I'm a bit late with this one but in this video we're going to talk about what is new and what has changed in the latest build for Windows 11 24H2 which is the build at 2600.1000 or KB5039304. So as I've said if you want to see all the things that are new in this build and some additional information please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the Tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. So I remind you again, this is a build that is only releasing for retail devices, basically devices that come pre-installed with Windows 11 24H2. In this case, we're mainly talking about Copilot Plus PCs that were recently released by Microsoft. And also, if you are enrolled in the release preview channel, you can easily go to Windows Update, make sure to check get the latest updates as soon as they're available. Click on check for updates. And if you don't have Windows 11 24H2, to installed, we're going to most likely get a banner that says Windows 11 24H2 is available and you can install it and alongside with that, of course, you're going to be able to update to this latest build. Also, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this could be the first update for Windows 11 24H2 on the main release, basically on retail devices. Of course, the retail devices came with a pre-installed version of that, but I think this may be the first official update for those devices. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below. Also, this is a non-security update for Windows 11, so it includes a few interesting improvements. For example, this update addresses an issue that affects the Windows Defender application control. It fails to verify the policies of some apps and also it reports a certain class of its policies as not active or authorized. Again, an issue linked to Windows Defender. Also, this update addresses an issue that might cause DWM.exe to stop responding. And also, this update brings country operator settings asset profiles up to date for certain mobile operators. The update addresses an issue that affects ununified router filter, Windows management instrumentation, API calls to shut down or restore the system throws an access denied exception and also the input method or the IME candidate list fails to show or shows in the wrong position this update should fix this issue so these are pretty much the changes and improvements that were available in the last build for Windows 11 24h2 but the difference is of course that this build is basically released to the main release of Windows 11 also please let me know below in the comments if you want me to continue making videos for both Windows 11 23 h2 and also Windows 11 24H2 because of course I think all of you that are using Windows 11 on the main release have the 23H2 version installed and a few of you maybe have Copilot Plus PCs or are enrolled in the release preview channel and are getting Windows 11 24H2 built so I can make two different videos for those if you are interested in that. Of course these updates have reliability and small fixes and improvements that are not mentioned in the change logs. For example some Reddit users confirmed that certain task view animations are now way smoother in this build compared to previous builds on the Windows 11 24H2 build so that is pretty good and of course I think Microsoft is working slowly on improving the system all around. One thing that I would like Microsoft to focus on especially on Windows 11 24H2 is polishing up the system because there are still menus there are still sections of Windows 11 that are still not updated to match the current experience for example whenever you're signing out or restarting your computer and you get that screen that says an app is interfering with your restart it's still the old Windows 10 screen and buttons and so on I think Microsoft should focus more on implementing improvements for that because still we were a few years after the Windows 11 release and we're still having inconsistencies on the system so I'm sure that there are a lot more for example the run box and so on I think a lot of you guys can mention more things in the comments below so I think that would be great if Microsoft focuses on that and of course in this update we're also getting the Windows update service and stack so if you have this on your system you should be getting updates with no issues and reliably. So for more information, of course, always please check the article below in the video description where you have more info and also the official Microsoft blog post. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Imani from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.